Let's have a quick look at three very useful options in the tools menu which can assist you greatly if you're moving a build of various objects. First of all, click this to tear off the menu for our convenience like that. We're first going to take a look at select only my objects. Now normally, if I right click an object and edit it, and in this case this belongs to me, of course it'll be selected, but so will other people's. Notice if I just click on this, or if I draw, uh, click and drag here to have a selection rectangle, it will similarly select other people's along with my own, which can cause trouble if you're just trying to take your own because you don't have permission to take other people's objects like that. Well, with this on, if select only my objects has been toggled, then retry that selection and you'll notice now that only my objects have been taken. This is really useful if we, for instance, zoom out and we have a parcel with nearby neighboring objects which don't belong to us. You can click and drag to draw a selection rectangle which will only take or only select before taking your own objects. The next one I'd like to show you is select by surrounding using this very simple example of a cube. Now when this is off, you can click and drag when you're in edit mode, even a tiny portion of the visible 3D object and it will select the entire thing. However, if select by surrounding is on, then you may have to select more of it. See a considerable amount until we've selected the whole thing and now it becomes selected. This principle also applies to more complex objects. Let's take this bridge for example. So with select by surrounding on, I will have to select more of it before it ever becomes selected. Whereas if select by surrounding is off, then I can select just a tiny portion and it's selected. You'll probably want to have select by surrounding off if your build has many little intricate details and you don't want to miss them. Finally, show hidden selection. What this does is let's select an object with it off. For example, the parts of the roof and I'm just holding down the shift key and clicking on different parts. Notice I can add to my selection that way without having to reselect. Now with show hidden selection on, it will show the innards like a wireframe outline of what's inside this house. Show hidden selection does slow performance noticeably if you select a lot of things, but it's useful for if you need to peer inside without going with your camera and see what is really inside that you're selecting, just like that. Notice show hidden selection on and then when you turn it off. So it sort of gives you x-ray vision that way. And that can be useful again for multi-layered builds when you have nested things like furniture inside of a house. 